How's it going YouTube? Tyler the Hotshot Hauler here guys. I want to bring a video to you guys about how to use chains and binders. Um, so what I mean by this is um, not only how to use them, but how to calculate the math for the rating of the tie downs for the cargo. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so in uh, Hotshot Trucking, the most common used uh, chain and binder is 5 16 grade 70 chain here and a 5 16 slash 3 8 binder and that's here okay so um, first and foremost let's talk about working load limit of these so the working load limit of a 5 16 grade 70 chain is 4700 pounds and the binder is rated for 5400 pounds working load limit 5400 pounds break strength of the binder is 19,000 so your working load limit is always incredibly less than your um, than your brake strength thing you always have to worry about with your tie downs is working load limit that number is what dictates how much weight that tie down can hold now let's talk about the math with uh, chains and binders and tie downs so um, you are responsible to secure half of the weight of the cargo in all directions okay uh, super simple just look at the working load limit of your equipment and that will tell you here's where um, it gets a little confusing okay so if you have a tie down hooked to a to the cargo and directly to the rub 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 rail at one point um, you lose half of the working load limit of your binder. So this binder is rated for 5,400 pounds, so that makes it so this tie down is only valued at 2,700 pounds because it's to a single point. If you hook it to two points, so if I ran a, a single chain with a binder through the center of the cargo and then to the other side of the trailer and hooked it with one long chain, you keep the full working load limit uh, of the binder, which would be 5,400 pounds, but then your tie down would go would be lowered to 4700 pounds because of the chain that's why when you use straps guys um it has the full working load limit of the rated strap because straps you hook to two points you hook on this side of the trailer you throw it over the cargo and you put it on the other side so you get your full working load limit out of the strap so moving a vehicle or heavy equipment that weighs 10,000 pounds or more you're required to have a four point tie down on it a good rule of thumb just always put a four point tie down and you never have to worry and it's extra safe now i'll show you how to use them so the only binders that i use and the only binders i would recommend are ratcheting binders you're able to use snap binders as well however snap binders are uh, very old school and incredibly dangerous and uh, they're just not very user friendly um, i think that uh, they are very very unsafe and not worth the risk ratchet binders are usually about a third more cost and they're worth every penny guys they're easier to use and more importantly their safety because snap binders can snap and break your hand break your fingers break your face break your jaw break your shoulder there's all kinds of horror stories of truckers getting hurt severely from snap binders um, so just buy ratchet binders okay you have a switch here that that determines which way it's going to spin one way you flip it will screw the pegs out the other way if you flip it and turn it it'll screw the pegs in so very simple, let me show you. To loosen it, you pull up a little, enough to slack, enough slack to where you can get the switch to switch. You flip it the other way, turn the binder over, and you can just do this, go back and forth. Or you can do it by hand, which is what I usually do, but it, it gets exhausting, it's a good forearm workout. So you can do it like this. Okay, now let's say you wanted to tighten it back up. You just flip the switch. Bring the handle around. You can spin it the other way so it's tight. And then when it gets tight, then you crank on it a couple times and you're good. And then how I do it is I go around, I get them all lightly tight and then I go around and I snug them all down. That's how I do it. You can do it any way you want. All right guys, now let's talk about the last part about what to do after you have tightened your load. So your load is tightened, uh, your binder is tight. Now you're ready to roll down the road. I always leave mine in the tightened uh, position when I go down the road. So what I mean by that is right now, if I crank up on this, it is going to tighten the cargo, okay? The reason why you wanna do that is that way when you go down the road, when it's flopping like this, it is not able to loosen itself, okay? 
okay because it's in the tightening position. The only way it's going to go is it's only going to tighten itself, but it's not going to be able to tighten itself because you have to use strength on it, okay? But let's say that you set it down like this and you put it in the loosen and you switch the switch to loosen. Now, not only do you have two problems now, now when you're going down the road, it's able and it will, I promise you it will, as you're hitting bumps, it will flip over on itself, which for the most part is harmless. But let's say if it would have flipped over and now it's hanging outside the trailer. So let's say it was the opposite way. Let's say it flipped over, you're going down the road and it flipped over. Okay, you still be fine, but let's say that the binder was like this and now this is hanging six inches outside the trailer. Okay, now you're in violation and you have a safety problem. Okay, so always make sure that when your binders, when you're done with your binders, that no matter which way they go, that they are inside the inside the confines of your trailer. Okay, but now let me show you why you don't want to leave it on loosen. Okay, so right now it's on tighten. Okay, it can't do anything except tighten. If you leave it on loosen, watch this. See that? So for each bump you hit, it's literally loosening the chain. Because as you go down the road, this is going to bump. Or, or, or as you go down the road, this is going to bounce. All right, guys, that is going to sum up the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please shoot me a like and a subscribe. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I know it can kind of be confusing, especially if you're new to the uh, terminology and um, the use of the equipment and the terms until you do it and you get into the industry, you might have some confusion. But when you do it every day, you learn it really, really fast and you learn over the course of many months what not to do <laughs> every single day that you're on the road. So anyways, guys, thank you again for watching and stay tuned for more hotshot content. Thank you.